As we said before, let's make a hand grip in a Libre. I think this is really where we're gonna start seeing organic, smooth, amazing surfaces. Let's go. Let's get started by selecting our top plane, also known as the ZX plane, and creating a sketch on that. Now I want my hand grip profile to be elliptical. And so for ellipses, let's go ahead and select this ellipse tool here. And I can hover my mouse right over the center of where I want my ellipse to be, give it a click, and we'll choose the height and width of the elliptical section. Next, maybe I want the overall height of my ellipse to be 2.75, but since I'm dimensioning from the center, I'll divide by two. Likewise, 1.5 divided by two ought to be right, and I'll deactivate the sketch. Next, I can choose my ZX plane, and I'll create another plane that'll make four inches off of that. Right, so we're four inches higher, and I'll create a sketch on this plane, and we'll make another elliptical section, just like that, perfect. I want, I want to do the same dimensions. Of course, you can make it thinner or larger at the top, depending on how you want your hand grip to be. We'll go with 2.75. Of course, we'll divide that by 2. 1.5 divided by 2. And then from here, I think my only degree of freedom is going to be making sure that this is vertical and determining the height off the origin that we want it to be. I'll go with 1.25. So I've got these two sections and I can loft between them. But that doesn't look like it's that much to hold on to. In fact, we could probably do something like that as an extrusion if we wanted. So how do we make little uh, finger grips, right? Places for our fingers to fit into. Well, first, I'll delete my loft and I'll create a sketch on my YZ plane. We'll activate a sketch here. The first thing I want to do is reference the other two sketches that I've made. So I'm going to project a sketch. We want them as references so they won't drive the features that we're creating. So we select these two sketches as references and we'll maintain associations so they don't walk around on us. I'll select Reset View. Now let's create a spline. And from here I can simply sketch out a few finger grips. And then I can reposition these points as necessary. So that looks to be about right. So I'll deactivate the sketch. From here, I can tell a Libre that I want my loft to follow this profile. How does that work? I'll select loft up here. And then I'll choose my top and bottom sketches. And then I have this option for guides. And I can select, say, a global guide. And I can select my finger grip here. And as you can see, a global guide will take this profile and apply it to the entire part globally. So in this case, the front and the back follow this kind of profile. Of course, I think hand grips are allowing for fingers to be uh, molded to on one side and have it be smooth on the other side. So what can we do about that? Well, we have this other option called local. And with a local guide, we don't necessarily need to follow this kind of convention. But I probably need another guide to really get this to work. So I'll make another sketch on my YZ plane. I can project a sketch here and here as a reference with maintained association, just like we did before. I can reset my view and I'll make a simple straight line we also can make a spline and have a slight curve in the back if we wish, depending on what kind of handle you would like to make. We'll make a loft from here to here. We'll choose local guides from here and here. And there we have a simple hand grip made with only four sketches. And that was using guide curves both globally and locally to generate the hand grip that we want. Hope that was helpful and see you in the next video.